Welcome to Who Wants to Be a Hundredaire? Me! Woo! Up first is Hopcat. Peter, come on down. Oh, Peter! Yeah! yeah! <laughs> Fuck it, out, tough crowd today. Dude, what would it mean oh, for man. you to be a hundredaire? Oh my god, I think I would pay my rent, rent then I would get week. 300 of my own dollars and continue to pay my rent. <laughs> Very nice. Lifelines! Do -do 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 -do. You can call a pizza place, ask Twitter, or. I don't want to do the shots. I reckon for every answer you eliminate, someone can tweet on your account. Oh, that's pretty good. Wait, okay, hold on. We planned this. <laughs> Say it confidently, Jordan, yeah. and then we'll... Every time... Wait. Every time... Okay, just, just use what I said. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. Started off nice and easy. This is for one dollar. Which 1994 Disney movie involves an animal becoming a king? Option A, Pinocchio. Option B, The Lion King. Option C, Baby Driver. <laughs> Option D, Lilo and Stitch. Stitch is a king in my eyes. Mm. I reckon it's a D. I haven't seen Baby Driver, so it's a little bit concerning, but I think I'm going to go with The Lion King, B. You are correct. Well oh. done. Wow, you really earned that dollar. Here is a dollar. Australian. Wow. Oh, it's a special edition one. All right, Peter, this is a bit of a complete the lyrics. For how much money? For two more, three dollars total. Three dollars. I keep it juicy, juicy. I eat that blank. <laughs> <laughs> Option A, I keep it juicy juicy. I eat that Mr. Beast Feastable chocolate bar. <laughs> we got the mention of Mr. Beast. <laughs> Option B, I eat that cinnamon toast crunch. Mm, that Option one rhymes. <laughs> I mean, it doesn't. Eat that lunch. That's you just, just told me the real answer. Oh! <laughs> Sophie! Yeah, rhymes with what? We're not made of money! <laughs> no, I'm a bit suspicious of this team. Whoops! So you can just like cough twice when it's the right answer, don't just say it outright. Sorry! Option C, I eat that lunch. <laughs> <laughs> and option D, I eat that morning tea. Mm, I'm just gonna go with lunch here. Yeah. I mean, I got a little bit of help from the audience. Three dollars! Oh Three dollars? You could walk away with a night with Jordan's mum. <laughs> okay. She is single. <laughs> <laughs> She's also for sale? What? Question three. The Care Bear Stare is when Care Bears shoot a rainbow out of their what? Option A, ass. <laughs> Option B, their nose. Option C, their mouth. Or Option D, their stomach. I know this one. Do you, have you not seen the fuck is no. a You guys haven't stare. seen a Care Bear stare? No, where would I, I have seen one. this? On Care Bears. <laughs> Why would I watch Care Bears? The Care Bears, they have their little, like, logos on their stomach. They do have that. Wait, it was there no eyes? No. no eyes. Oh, you want to cry rainbows? No, but it's called a stare. Yeah, that's what I thought. If there was eyes, I would have. I don't want to use a lifeline here. I'm just going to lock in stomach. You are correct! Oh, yes, yeah. well done! Thank God. Up to five dollars now, well oh, done. No. What can Little Z not drive? Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, nothing. nothing. Option A, a truck. Option B, a Tesla. Mm -hmm. Option C, women crazy. <laughs> <laughs> and option D, a Boeing 737. <laughs> I mean, arguably, Zach can't drive a Tesla as it drives itself. Mm. But I'm going to lock in Boeing 737D. Congratulations. <laughs> You're up to $10 wow. with a crispy five Don't dollar Don't I get bill. that five? We are getting a bit harder now. Which of these animals is not native to Australia? Oh, easy. You you are, the animal, the animal question one. to the yeah. zoology yeah. man. Keep it easy. Option A, the dingo. Option B, the emu, option C, the koala, and option D, the kangaroo. Ooh, so to the untrained brain, you mm. might not know this one, but it is a dingo yes. yeah. came over with the First Nations people of Australia. I don't know if I would have got that. Congratulations, dude. I, 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 you. Yeah, the only Australian thing about dingo is a dingo ain't my baby. <laughs> That's like. <laughs> Next question. What food makes me uncontrollably fart? You specifically. Me, yes. Option A, a dried apricot. Oh. oh Option yeah. B, milk. Oh, oh, yeah. Option C, broccoli. Oh. Or Option D, pasta. Um, 
I actually do remember you telling us this. Oh, okay, okay. Uh, and it was the dried apricots. <laughs> yes. Hey. Man, guys, guys in the audience, if you ever had the experience, don't do it. Be careful out there with dried apricots. <laughs> <laughs> What's the maximum number of dried apricots you would eat? Now? Yeah. Four. Oh, <laughs> I would not pass four. Which is the fake Mr. Men character out of these? <laughs> Mr. Snow. Option B. What? Mr. Tickle. He's real. Option. He's got those big old arms. He's like Cogger. Who? <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, he's not here today. So he's off tickling some beaver. <laughs> option C, Mr. Birthday. And option D, Mr. Dead. <laughs> <laughs> no grandmas, just Mrs. Dead. <laughs> <laughs> oh, surely Mr. Death's not real. Do you want to lock that in? Yeah, I do. Well done, yes. well done! I actually thought it might have been Mr. Snow. I yeah. have yeah. birthday. I have never heard of Mr. Snow or birthday. Yeah. I'm not gonna lie. Which of these is not a real Cardi B song? Oh, fuck. Whoa. oh fucking phone me, baby. Yeah. I'm gonna be watching for Zach's reaction on these ones. Option A, <laughs> wet ass pussy. Option B, hot shit. Option C, money. Option D, drippy tippy. <laughs> Is that like when you've been edging for too long and you get a drippy tip? <laughs> <Ew>! <laughs> oh! Oh! <laughs> been there. Have we? <laughs> <laughs> I think I'm gonna have to ask Twitter on this one. Do you think your Twitter audience is like a Venn diagram with Cardi B listeners? Alright, there's only 25 votes because we've not left it very long. But Drippy Tippy has got 72% of the vote. <laughs> I'm gonna lock in Drippy Tippy. Drippy Tippy, option D, is correct. Oh, well yes. done. Thanks, thanks audience. <laughs> All right, here we go. Moving on for a bit of a SpongeBob question. Oh, oh, beautiful. What is the name of SpongeBob's dad? A, Triangle SquarePants. <laughs> B, Harold Squarepants. <laughs> okay, it's a dad name. C, Jiminy Squarepants. Or option D, Square Squarepants. You know this one? Yeah. I think I do too. Yeah. yeah. God, okay, so I don't think it's gonna be Triangle Squarepants, cause that is kind of an oxymoron. Bit cause weird. how can he have square pants if he's a triangle? Okay, okay, I like it. Doesn't really make sense. I like the logic. <laughs> you have the worst poker face <laughs> for know. being a host. I'm better off at smiling at everything. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck it! Lock in Harold! Are you sure? Yes! That is... Correct! Yes! Yeah, Harold is up. correct! He was gonna go with the wrong answer! Well done. No, I always thought it was Harold. Which of these is not an... No, other way around. Which of these... <laughs> Which of these is an Which of these is an element on the periodic table? Three. A. Unobtainium. <laughs> Come on, man. B. Dubnium. C. Flamanium. Or option D. Limnium. This is actually harder than I thought. <laughs> so unobtainium is the one from Avatar. Yeah, you did get yeah, that, you got one, that one. Yeah, great writing. Uh, limnium, I don't think. I think it's dubnium. I'm pretty sure. <laughs> Maybe. So I'm gonna lock in B. <laughs> will that get you the dubnium? It will. Yeah. Well done, damn. Yeah. I did not. Did anyone else know that? Yeah, I. What the I fuck? Did. I did not. What is the weight of the heaviest person ever? <laughs> <laughs> what, did you weigh them all? <laughs> yes. A, 420 kilograms. Nice, plays it. Option B, 470 kilograms. Option C, 635 kilograms. Or option D, 828 kilograms. Oh, come on, man. You missed a good your mum joke. <laughs> <laughs> there is a your mum joke in here already. Oh shit, okay. <laughs> Which of these is the heaviest? Alright, so I'm gonna go oh, that's ahead. That's a whole car. And I'm gonna get rid of 420 because 420 is too funny. It would be pretty funny. Too funny to be real. 800's too heavy. 600's kind of speaking to me, but it just seems like too much. I think <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and lock in B. 470 kilos. Locked in. Option B is... Incorrect! Oh, it's 635 no! kilograms! Oh, Hand it back, buddy! How tall was that person? 
person. I did not look at that Probably up. Probably not as, far, as big as they were wide. <laughs> Who's going next? Um, Paper, scissors, rock. Yes! Sophie, oh. come on I'm down. waiting until the end. Mine's, I'm going to get 300. All right, Sophie. Oh, you just wiped the sweat welcome. off there. I did, yeah. <laughs> this was intense job. All right, question one. Which song uses a different tune to the other songs? <laughs> <laughs> Option A, the alphabet. Oh. A, B, C. Yeah. Like, you can't sing it, that, that's cheating. Option B. Sorry. <laughs> twinkle, twinkle, little star. Oh, yeah. Option C, bar, bar, black sheep. Or option D, Mary had a little lamb. See D. Okay, it is definitely D, Mary had a little lamb. It's a different one. Congratulations. <laughs> you have won a dollar. A dollar. Well done. well done. I was a little stressed out about that one. <laughs> How does the common saying go? Don't bring a blank to a gunfight. Option A, don't bring a knife to a gunfight. Option B, don't bring a bad attitude to a gunfight. Mm. This is all good option, advice. Yeah. <laughs> option C, don't bring a small gun to a gunfight. That's great advice. Or option D, do not bring a dog to a gunfight. All right, I was concerned because I didn't have the options, but after the multi-choice, I'm gonna lock in a don't bring a knife to a gunfight. Congratulations, well done, well done. Who has the second most subscribers out of the underdogs? Oh. Is it A, pop it one, B, little Z, C, Hopcat, or D, Director Cogger? So there's two real answers, right? <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, I... Oh shit. Oh shit. Oh no. Who has more? I know you've had more for a really long time, but this man had was on the daily uploads for a really long time, for no video Sunday. So hey Sophie, I'll give you a hint. If hey. you get it wrong, I'm breaking up with you. Okay. Great hint. <laughs> I think I'm gonna lock in Hopcat. Are you sure? Because uh, that is correct! Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Don't do it to me, Jordan! I felt bad. <laughs> I felt bad. Oh, like when someone says, yeah, yeah. I've locked it in, and then you say, oh, I'm going to unlock it to ask you for sure. Dude! Well done, well done. Ooh. You like Pokemon, right, Sophie? Yes. Okay. Very much so. The Pokemon Hitmonlee mm -hmm. is named after who? Is it Bruce Lee? <laughs> Option oh. A. You might change your mind once you've heard the uh, question. Yeah, hear the other options, yeah. hear them out. Stan Lee. Mmm. <laughs> Lee Harvey Oswald. <laughs> Option So he doesn't know who any of these people are. <laughs> Lee Harvey Oswald shot fucking um, JFK, didn't he? Oh! Allegedly, allegedly. <laughs> <laughs> Bobby Lee or Option D, Bruce Lee. Yep, I'm confident with D, Bruce Lee. All right, congratulations, that is correct. You have, you're up to $10. Speed running these questions, Ooh. right? I'm putting my coin on the floor. <laughs> the crowd has grown! Wow! Oh, studio audience. We don't have a mic. Hey, you're not allowed to talk. <laughs> if you say anything, you need to yell. <laughs> hey! <laughs> All right, next question. Which sport has the largest balls? Is it, <laughs> <laughs> is it A, volleyball, B, basketball, C, netball, or D, baseball. Sophie, I know you're imagining playing the sports, but it really looks like you're, like, <laughs> <laughs> you're like cradling something. Like, mm. this. You're like doing all this. Like, mm. I'm gonna say the biggest balls belong to baseball. <laughs> no, 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 Is no, no. that the question? I think you baseball. said it wrong. I mean, oh, basketball, basketball. Oh, yes, well done. Right. 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 I meant to say that. <laughs> that was close. <laughs> Congratulations. Baseball! <laughs> I, I was like, oh <laughs> The famous quote, I am the greatest, comes from who? Oh, is might it be in trouble here. A, George Washington. Oh my God. B, <laughs> Queen Elizabeth II. Mm -hmm. C, Barack Obama. Or D, Muhammad Ali. Oh. Who said, I am the greatest? Queen's last words, little known fact. <laughs> Obama yeah. was like, you do let have me your three lifelines still. I am the greatest. Let me be clear. Maybe I should use a lifeline. Do you want to change the 50-50 oh. one to ask the couch? Oh, yeah. real convenient after I don't use it and lose. <laughs> yeah, I'm just thinking. <laughs> I would have given you It's a bit answer. easier than list banning yeah. Twitter. Yeah. We are giving the couch five seconds. Go. It's Muhammad Ali. It's Muhammad Ali. Ali. It's Muhammad Ali. He fights like a butterfly and he's the greatest. He was the greatest. He was the greatest. Silence. I was gonna say that one. All right, yeah, lock in Muhammad Ali. Well done, well done. <laughs> Damn it. All right, next question. What was the first animal ever cloned? Oh, I think I know this. First mammal ever cloned, sorry. Is it a sheep? 
No, is that a mammal? Yeah. Option A, elephant. Option B, sheep. Option C, numbat. Or option four, cow. Wasn't it called like or option D or Dolly whatever. the Sheep and it got cloned? It could be if you lock that yeah, in. Yeah, I'm locking in sheep. It was Dolly the yeah! Sheep, well done. Bonus points, give me money. <laughs> money, please. What is the heaviest? Is it A, the heaviest ever human? Here it comes. Which we yep. Here it comes. <laughs> Don't be a joke. Option B. <laughs> Here it comes. The <laughs> heaviest ever snake. Option C, the heaviest ever dog. Or option B, the heaviest ever watermelon. Oh. It's, it's still in there. It's still in there. I have to so wait to the end of the video. <laughs> oh, that's a tough one. A 680 kilo watermelon. Dude, I don't know. Have you that, seen There's those? some big melons. Yeah. I, I do like, like yeah. big melons. <laughs> <laughs> you guys want to see the biggest snake? <laughs> <laughs> do you reckon James and the Giant Peach was from a real story? <laughs> 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 I'm going to lock in your oh, human. Option A, human. Yeah. That is correct! Oh, no, no, is no that continuing to try and sabotage on the couch? Oh yeah. Oh, okay, we're getting to the hard zone now. What is the most money ever spent on a single Pokemon card? Oh, I know you this. You might know this. Logan Paul. Yeah, maybe. <laughs> $5.27 million is option A. Option B is $3.93 million. Option C, $2.28 million, or option D, $1.96 million. Right. This is Logan Paul. Logan I Paul for say. Illustrator Pikachu. Yes. I can picture his title right now with the money <laughs> amount, and I know the oh. answer. I think, I don't want to get this wrong here, I'm going to poll Twitter. Respect. Poll Twitter. Yep. What is it? Oh, Has that been like that the whole time? Yes. Yeah. Oh, no one said. I noticed it and I was like, well, that's the style that the host you read is going for. Uh, <laughs> are you ready to hear the percentages? Yes. I warn you, they're not incredibly helpful. No. We have 1.96 million at 16% of the vote. We have 2.28 million at 19% of the vote. We have 3.93 million at 33% of the vote. And 5.27 million also with 33% of the vote. Oh, Wait, nice. ref so refresh that team. It's 50-50 here. I think he spent a lot. I'm going to lock in the highest number, 5.27 million. That is correct. Woo! Well done. Okay. I thought you were trying to throw me off nah, with those ones. Well but... done, well done. Which is the fake Little Miss character? Oh, yeah. This is a good question. All right. Little Miss Birthday. Little Miss Fabulous. Little Miss Fast. Or Little Miss Inventor. Ooh. Which of those is not a real Little Miss character? We're getting down They're to like the, the tough stuff. They're like the girl Mr. Men, right? Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. I think Inventor isn't real. Little Miss Inventor sounds like a modern day panicked, oh, we didn't include any good like jobs for the Little Miss characters. <laughs> I think Little Miss Inventor. Yeah, a fake Little Miss. Yeah, you want to look that in that option D? In. Yeah. That is incorrect. Oh! No! is not real! No! I got no, the money back. No, no. Yeah, hand it over. Can you little <laughs> miss fast out of that fucking chair so I have a turn? Alright, Zach. If Henry had three apples... No small talk, just... He finds a banana on the floor. Go straight in. He then grabs two more apples out of a bush, but eats one apple how many apples does Henry now have? Did he keep the apple core and you're counting that as an apple? No, I would not okay. count that as an apple. He's right. the whole thing, he's a savage. Did he Four. Lick the banana that off. That is the correct. <laughs> <laughs> did he do multi choice? Wait, give me the multi choice. <laughs> oh, did I not? <laughs> Just real quick, real quick. Um, option A, no apples. Option B, eight <laughs> apples. <laughs> option C, four apples. Or option D, two apples. Four. <laughs> all right. What is the largest animal awesome. to have ever existed? What if you count all the ants? Single animal. Is it option A, your mum? Ah! <laughs> I didn't see that one coming! Is it, oh, 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 oh. I think is, it's a megalodon. Is it option B, the blue whale? Option C, the Tyrannosaurus Rex? 
Or option D, Shaquille O'Neal. Ah, oh, fuck. <laughs> I was going to say Shakira. Well, a blue whale was bigger than a Tyrannosaurus, so I'm going to go with that. Unless you fucked me over with saying my mum. <laughs> <laughs> it is the blue whale. Hey. Congratulations. Well done, well done. So, what a, isn't there an ocean dinosaur way bigger than a T-Rex? No. no. Blue whale's the biggest was? animal that ever lived. Who would win in a fight? Is it option A, every ant? Oh, yeah. <laughs> option B, Every ant eater. No. Option C. <laughs> every tiger. Every tiger. Yeah. Or really option D. Every dodo. Yes. Yeah, so dodos are extinct. <laughs> and the other two. I've seen a seen a really good TED talk on uh, whether ants could beat tigers and ant eaters in a fight. And I think there's more than enough ants on planet. There's a lot of ants on planet Earth. Very wise. So I think the ants very would wise. Win. Two dollars for you, sir. You're up to five dollars. Five well dollars done. total. I don't know if this is a fact. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Who won the Vietnam War? Was it option A, America? I think it's option no one. Option B, yeah. England. Option C, the Viet Cong. Or option D, Madagascar. There are no Come winners on. in war. Is this the is a Viet trick question. Kong... Yeah, like who was fighting <laughs> against America? Oh yeah. yeah, and did they win? They could, probably could have. <laughs> Fuck! I mean, I think it's America, but like, did they really win? They just sort of went in and then left. Where's E? Yeah, no one won. No option. one won in that war. I don't know. Google said Is C. Is this opinion? What? Wait, what? I'll go with C. Yeah, well done. He was gonna get it wrong. He was gonna get it wrong. It was gonna be an easy one. I didn't know. It was he was weird. gonna say America. <laughs> right. No one won. All right, calm down. Calm down. <laughs> Thank you, guys. You're the host. Where is Stonehenge located? Scotland, I think. Give me the answers. Is it A? I think it's England, actually. Scotland. <laughs> is it B? Ireland. Is it C? Norway or D? England. Oh, I know it's not Norway. Trouble. Now you do have three lifelines as well. Yeah, it's just is Scotland or England, but I actually don't know which. I think it might be Scotland, but I'm just gonna poll Twitter because I'm not going out this early. All right, fair play. Do What's you guys know Pizza this one stores, confidently? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Either of you? Because you've been there, right? Pete? Yes, I have. You've been to Stonehenge? Yes. Hey, actually, I've, that... I've been to Ireland and I didn't see any Stonehenges, so I don't think it's there. <laughs> Zach, say I'm going to Stonehenge in both accents and it'll come to you. <laughs> I'm going to Stonehenge! Or I'm going to Stonehenge on a fucking... How do you do it? <laughs> How do you know an English one? <laughs> an English one! <laughs> Alright, England is slowly going up on the list, so I'm going to vote England, and if it's not, then I'll just kill myself. Alright, Governor, I'm right. going to Stonehenge in it. You will live another day. Well done. England oh. is correct. It was tripping me because I started thinking it was Scotland and then people were actually voting for yeah. it. <laughs> All right, keeping on, keeping on the England theme, mm -hmm. who is the king of England at the moment? Charles, next question. Well done. <laughs> <laughs> no. Which of these Pokemon is the heaviest? Oh, this is a good question. Oh, I think I know these. Option A. Your mum. <laughs> Rayquaza. No. Option B. Your mum on. Mewtwo. Option C. Your mum a saw. Blastoise. Or option D. Blaziken. Ooh. Oh, fuck. There's some random ass ones. I thought you'd go like end of the spectrum. I have no helpful lifelines left. Because hey, I don't, I don't know if Pokemon you would themes. know for sure, Peter. And Pizza <laughs> Place. Yeah, Pizza Place would know. Calling that. <laughs> I think Rayquaza they would add a big weight to just cause. Bla it's not Blaziken. I don't. Blastoise is probably heavy, but not more than the legendaries. Oh, I'll go Rayquaza. You're locking it in. Depends if it's right. That's. Well, no, that's not how it works. <laughs> but what would you recommend? Say three, two, one, pick one. I swear to God. Yeah, pick one. Go. Rayquaza. That is correct! Yeah. Well done! Good job, Rayquaza. Oh, I was hard reading Jordan's facial expressions there. <laughs> Jordan poker face. Now. Perth, where we live. Don't dox us. <laughs> it could be Perth, Scotland. Perth managed oh, to defeat New York in the 1983 America's Cup, ending their 132 year winning streak. What sport was this? Option A, Australian rules football. Option B, golf. Option C, cycling. Or option D, yacht racing. Are these questions harder than yours for this level I of the game? I know the answer. So I knew this before. Mine were pretty hard. Shit. Well, New York Half is not cap. playing 
What was the first one? Australian Aussie rules, rules football. football. <laughs> <laughs> Especially not for... Wait, you said for 132 years. They had a winning streak and Perth... Okay, I don't think yachts were invented back then. <laughs> Fuck it, I'll ask the couch. Sophie, You have five seconds, couch. I'll give you 20% of my winnings. Go! It's the yacht racing. It's yachts. Yacht yeah. racing, okay. Who are you going with? Yacht. Yeah, well done, well done. Woo! What is the most popular TV show on Netflix? This was calculated from hours viewed for the first 28 days of release. Option A, Stranger Things season four. Option B, right. Bridgerton season two. Oh, that sounds Option right, C, Jeffrey Dahmer. Ugh. Option Ugh. D, 13 Reasons Why Season 2. Oh, oh that's really hard. What? 13 Reasons Why? Nah, fuck it. Everyone's into Stranger Things. The others are, I think, a bit more niche. I was worried you were going to put Squid Game on, but I know that took a bit more time to get popular. I'm just going to go with Stranger Things Season 4. If it's wrong, then well, I've got nothing. So did those guys. Congratulations! Woo! That is correct! I remember seeing something about how that was Netflix's yeah. like, biggest yeah, thing. Yeah, it was. I, think, I, I was I thinking that Steven about. Anderson's $10! <laughs> nice. <laughs> can I actually get a one that I can nope. use as I want to get rid of it. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> what does GPS stand for? Global oh, Positioning on. System. That's so easy. Dude. If that's on there, otherwise I'll hear the options. Option A, Global Positioning System. <laughs> <laughs> a. Congratulations. Yeah. Well done, well done. Yes. <laughs> can I get some of these questions? <laughs> In Australia, which of these has the highest population? Is it A, people, B, cows, it's fucking C, sheep, sheep yeah. D, kangaroos? Ooh. It's sheep. There's so many fucking sheep in Australia. Would Lock you? it in. That is correct. Oh, well yes. done. Yes. We actually have more sh more sheep than New Zealand. There's 68 and million makes sheep. Them, yeah. Million. Sheep, yeah. yeah. Who of these people has the YouTube video with the most views. Ooh. Is I'm pretty it, good at YouTube though. Is it A? Knowledge. Fred. Ooh. B. Oh, old okay, school. Okay. Zoella. C. Epic Meal Time. Ooh, or D. God. Pop it one. <laughs> <laughs> that I'm, I'm, I'm thankful that you only gave me three options to choose. <laughs> hey, hey. Say pop it one, he might give you the money just out of <laughs> niceness. Oh, I feel like shit. it's mostly for me between Epic Meal Time and Fred. Epic meal time would just have this like, oh fucking 50 bacons and then it gets like <laughs> oh, fucking 100 million views, surely. 50 bacons! 50 bacons! I'm gonna give you the numbers to make it okay. a bit spicy. So one of these has 23 million, one has 33 million, and one has 94 million. There's one more. And one has lots as well. What's your most, <laughs> what's your most viewed video, Jordan? 500,000 or something, I don't know. Is it Fred? Do you want to lock it in? I'm not He <laughs> looked to the side, I'm which saying... means he's trying to lie. Is it Fred? The strong eye. He looked away again! It's Fred! Lock it in! Well, it is. Option A, Fred! Yeah. Dude, Damn. Fred goes shopping bad. with annoying orange. 94 <laughs> million views. All right. Oh, this is the last the question. The final question, $20 bucks. to get to $100. Let's go, Zach. How long is the world's longest pencil? <laughs> okay. Okay. This oh. is the final question. Option A. I'm going to look this way the whole time. Mm -hmm. 19 meters. Option B, 127 meters. Option C, 674 <laughs> meters. Or option D, 1,091 meters. <laughs> okay, now thinking of Jordan's brain when he's coming up with fake numbers, 674 is pretty random. Which one feels just random enough to have been created by a human? Biggest? Were they all created by humans? Yeah. I think it's either C or D. Which actually. numbers are invented by aliens? Because <laughs> it's got to be surprising. I'm going to phone a pizza place, actually. <laughs> all right, all right. How the fuck would they know? <laughs> Hi, I don't actually want to order a pizza, but I just wanted to let you know that I've won $100. Just had to let my mate over and now we know that I've won 100 bucks. It's 674 meters. That is incorrect. <laughs> oh! <laughs> 1,091 oh! meters. Oh! 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 O
Hey, I, I get twenty dollars, right? <laughs> Fuck you! I'm taking a hundred. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Let us know if you want us to do it again.